Hello, this is Matthew Young from the East Cyber Mission Team TARDIS. Um, today we are going to be looking at this simulator that I made. Uh, this uh, represents our experiment and this sort of verifies the logic behind it. Uh, so as we see here, we have a ton of red dots and a parabolic dish. So the parabolic dish is you know, the parabolic dish, uh, you can see a little box there that represents the speaker. The red dots surrounding it represent the air particles. Uh, Alright, so if we were to shoot the sound waves into the air, if they would bounce off the parabolic dish and we, our, our experiment said that they would go straight, but there were a few out, outliers. So, if you run this test enough times, that will still occur. There's still the probability of them bouncing off incorrectly. And seeing these sound waves go through the air, we can base the fact that if this were to be developed for, uh, I don't know, communication systems and other things like that, if the sound waves were to go through the air uh, and be undetectable, we would want them to be as narrow and as straight as possibly, you know, as possible. So, by seeing how they affect the air around them, we can sort of tell how plausible it would be for something like that to happen. So if we launch our first test here, we can see that it barely affects the air around it. This is in a perfectly controlled environment, let me remind you. So, this air isn't being winded, it's just completely still. Uh, so if we keep launching this, we can see, um, yep, so we got some air, air, uh, particles affecting each other, bouncing off each other. So we can see that, that would be like a little blimp if someone were trying to detect a message. So, w although we do want these things to be as precise as possible, we would need to design sort of in an almost perfect parabolic dish. So if we keep launching this, uh, we will be able to see outliers. If we, we can see some movement over here. I pushed P to pause. Uh, and now that it's gone sort of out of the main range of the dish itself, we can count that as being detectable. So we don't really like that, but that is sort of, you know, <coughs> one out of ten tries. So if we keep launching this up oh, right there, we can see an outlier right above those four blue dots. There's one above them. That one was not as extreme as some of the others. Considering our parabolic dish looked nothing like this. Uh, so this is a slightly more perfected one. Right there. You can see how it, that sound wave kind of bounced off. Now if we keep launching this, hopefully we'll be able to see a really extreme outlier oh right there oh 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 I didn't catch it in time but you did see those two kind of separate off and you can see the air waves how they're changed down there we'll try and see if we can get lucky one more time right there you saw how it went all the way up over there towards the end there so while these sound particles aren't exactly perfect that's sort of how it works uh, so, yes, this is not perfect. You can see a few glitches, a couple errors, uh, but with the resources we have now and the knowledge of a teenager programmer, I can't really do much more. Uh, however, this will be available for download if you wish to test it out yourself. Uh, click the link below in the description. Um, you can run it as many times as you want. Uh, yeah. You launch the sound waves by pressing the space bar. So yes, we can see how it has strayed from the path, but it hasn't gone really far out except for the occasional one or two. But as we see here, you can see the air particles bouncing off each other. Kind of a chain reaction sort of a deal. Uh, but yeah. That is what I sort of contributed to this project. 
So yeah, feel free to go ahead and download this, try it out for yourself. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you all another time.